A major WWE star is leaving soon and creative plans have been screwed up. Plus, an update on WrestleMania possibly coming to the UK and John Cena's future plans with the WWE. We've got an update for you on that too. It's all in the wrestling news right now. So, quite a lot happened over the weekend at Money in the Bank. Thank you if you joined us for live reactions or if you gave Ross and Fraser a kiss down in London. <laughs> uh, one of the things that caught us all a bit off guard was, was a turn on on Ronda Rousey by Shayna Baszler. Out of nowhere. It didn't make the hugest amount of sense. Like, we all saw the turn coming eventually and everything, but Ronda Rousey uh, attacked from behind by Shayna Baszler while they were pretty much in control of the match, um, and then they dropped the women's tag team titles to Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez. Congratulations to them, but I was very confused by the turn, or the timing of the turn, anyway. Now, Dave Meltzer revealed on Wrestling Observer Live that there were indeed creative plans for Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler to go their separate ways with this turn taking place after a lengthy run as women's tag team champions. However, Ronda getting injured and creative changes earlier in the year uh, meant that these plans were, were moved further along the timeline. Mm -hmm. The thing is, Ronda Rousey, according to Dave Meltzer's sources, has a hard out on her current WWE contract, which means regardless of where they're at creatively, she has a specific date that she has to be gone by, which is therefore expedited this this breakup of Baszler and Ronda. That's the thing, it seemed rushed, but maybe it's not really their fault in this case. The injury has, has hampered the whole thing. Um, I'm actually kind of excited for it because we're going to get a program with Shayna and Ronda. And if that leads to Ronda Rousey putting Shayna Baszler over clean, then that could really help Shayna. And Shayna is the one that I want to see helped. Yeah. And uh, these creative plans, whilst being screwed up in Dave Meltzer's words, will, as you say, aid Shayna Baszler. Fingers crossed. And let's run him well. over. No, well, be, which I don't think she will. Well, this is something that Ronda's wanted to do for the longest of times. Malta says that Ronda Rousey has wanted to do a program with, with, with Shayna Baszler before leaving the company. She said Shayna developed Ronda's love for professional wrestling. So to her, to pay her back, they're going to do a program. And Dave says, I don't know if it's one match. I don't know if it's two or three. But it's based on whether that out is. Uh, they had to get it done now mm -hmm. based on where she had to be done by. Uh, the idea was to do the tag team thing much longer and establish them as a team and not have them turn so suddenly, but basically time ran out. I just think they could have done the actual turn a bit better in that they could have done it on weekly TV rather than at the, the pay-per-view and had a proper reason for doing it. It really did come out of nowhere. That's not always a bad thing. Like a surprise heel turn is often better than one that we all see coming, but it was just so random for it to be right in the middle of the match when they weren't like, on the losing end. There hadn't been any miscommunications. Um, so that was a surprise. I think it could have been handled a bit better, but it looks like they're, they're, they've been forced to do this. They've been forced to rush it. And you, you can't blame them for that, can you? Not in the Like slightest. Ronda for getting injured. Yeah, Ronda. <laughs> Selfish. Hashtag clumsy Ronda. <laughs> Don't call her clumsy Ronda. She will batter me and break me like cracker bread. Now, WrestleMania 14 now on the horizon. Uh, now, Cody made some interesting comments during the press conference after Money in the Bank when he was asked whether winning the world title was the end of the story. He basically basically said, well, it's a lovely belt. The answer's no. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost like Cody thinks it might be a consolation prize. If he does so. <laughs> That's the thing. It, like, you, There's a lot of work to be done to change fans' minds as to whether that is a consolation prize or not. And although Cody is completely right in saying this, like legit, like, he, he doesn't want that belt. Yeah. Um, it does make it feel once again like a consolation prize. Every time somebody says like this, AJ Styles had similar mm. comments, didn't he? Before, like in the run up to it, when he was facing Seth in the finals. Um, and every time it does that, to me, I'm going to say it does still feel like a really big deal. It is a step below Roman Reigns, but it does still feel like a big deal, just not the biggest deal. Uh, now, this obviously leads to conversations again about when Cody will find Roman again. And Dave Meltzer says on Wrestling Observer Radio, his storyline is that the belt his father didn't win which is apparently Roman's belt. That's the one that, that's the story. So basically, he almost has said it's next year's WrestleMania. That is the plan right now, at least. I love that, which is apparently Roman's belt, because it's not Roman's <laughs> either, really, is it? Mine, no. <laughs> no. No, it's like, it's still not the belt, isn't it? No. It doesn't have the same name. I get it, right. That, that is now the WWE title, but it's got a slightly longer name. It's But the lineage they've, they've, ripped from the other one essentially yeah so it's kind of, it, it, yeah but not not with the world no. heavyweight that's a brand new lineage no not the world heavyweight but the wwe one that roman's got whilst it's called the universal title belt <laughs> it has the lineage 
of the Buddy Roberts one. So congratulations, <laughs> Buddy Roberts, on becoming Universal Champion. But the one that's called the heavyweight title has the right name. That lineage doesn't follow over. It makes piss all sense, doesn't it? It's really weird. I know. I, I mean, there's a lot of wrestling doesn't make sense. Like that. Yes. A lot of that. And why would you lie on a table for that long? <laughs> <laughs> um, now, this makes us think that Cody Roman will close out WrestleMania 40. Yeah. Which yeah. I feel like you, you, you that's, that is finishing the story. Yeah, totally. And it you know is. what? I'm, I'm excited about it because I think if they run that match twice at WrestleMania, Cody has to win that time. I think it would be really daft and really weird for really them not to... Really hilarious. It would be quite funny. It would be uh, hilarious. For, for them not to give it to Cody. Um, we all expected, or a lot of us expected, to, to see Roman Reigns drop that title. But actually, what we've got in the, 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 the following four months are we at now? No, not even that following bit of time uh, has actually been really, really good. Um, I'm still not convinced personally it was the right shout to keep the belt on Roman, but I've really enjoyed the stuff with the bloodline, so maybe it was. I do think there's a fair point, um, and it's something that I think the uh, the podcast boys have brought up, that maybe for this story, this story, it could have continued with the bloodline without Roman having that belt. You could still make that story work and have Cody be the champion. My concern is that people will have turned on Cody by um, by next year because it's Cody Rhodes and wrestling fans like doing that. Mm. Um, and I genuinely thought we see a point where Cody would get booed on Saturday. Yeah. I think we mentioned it in a news video a few weeks ago, uh, and I you know Douglas Adams always said I'd rather be happy than right. Uh, I was happy. Like if, if anything, he got one of the best reactions of the night For outside sure. of LA Night, obviously. John Cena, I and, think. And, the oh yeah, oh yeah. I think Cena. The small the matter of John Cena <laughs> promising us WrestleMania in the UK. I sat there with my good lady watching that, and I went, "You can't stop saying stuff like that. You can't say stuff like that and not plan it and not have something in the some irons in the fire." We talk about that sort of guff all the time but we're rumours and aggregators we're allowed to John Cena can't say it it's about it's about getting London to pay for it isn't it I think that's mm. what it comes down to yeah they don't have a date locked in they might not even have a year in mind so far they just want London to pay big bucks for it <laughs> get people excited get people demanding it and then it's all all the, all of the pressure I guess is on the city of London uh, Fightful Selects in terms of Wrestlemania in the UK gave us a nice update on this one uh, Wrestlemania is set for Philadelphia in 2024 and WWE is in the late stages of finalising the 2025 Wrestlemania city which we've heard is a city in the United States uh, the earliest a Wrestlemania could hit London is 2026 unless something drastic happens and WWE sources told us they don't find it likely on the horizon however there was a survey taken near the media day this week uh, where there was asked what cities in the UK would be most convenient for a hypothetical Royal Rumble or SummerSlam. Uh, not what he offered. It's not what he promised. No, don't care. No, we don't want any of that. That's rubbish. <laughs> you know, that's like when you ask your nan for the WWF ring for your figures and she gives you the WCW ring. It's this galoob, nan. <laughs> Get this out of here. You, you know what? I, You're I, a galoob. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I would... Uh, I would rather go and see a Royal Rumble in the UK, but I understand that like WrestleMania is the big one. If but if I had to pick a pay per view between the two, I'd rather a Royal Rumble. But well, we're getting WrestleMania. John said so. So John Cena said so. I saw fine. him. Just uh, <laughs> London, oh. Birmingham, Manchester, or Glasgow were the cities considered. So uh, St James's Park or the Stadium Line. Sunderland not getting a look in again. Yeah, that's not on. I is love it? a rumble. Imagine, imagine a Royal Rumble in the Stadium of Light. There'd be people <laughs> just fighting just to get into the arena to run out. <laughs> I see you, Mackums. I love you. Uh, so let's talk John Cena. So whilst he definitely promised us WrestleMania, uh, where's he at with the WWE? at the moment. Don't expect to see him again anytime soon. It was convenient because John Cena was filming in the area, um, but it doesn't look like he's going to be back on TV. Fightful Select saying, as of now, WWE higher-ups tell Fightful that Cena was only set for this show, didn't have any upcoming programs planned. Although that can always change if his schedule frees up. WWE were very happy with how things went for his appearance, which is lovely to see. Uh, obviously, he did the stuff with Grayson Waller. That was all nice stuff. Uh, I thought that's what we were going to get. We were going to get John Cena come out and, um, like, like Austin Theory, or yeah, Grayson Waller, come out and just eat the AA. The the little tease of the WrestleMania in the UK was just a little bonus, a little Brucey bonus from Big Match John. But yeah, apparently he'd been filming around the Liverpool area, so he got the train down, first class, um, just to 
just to say hello. And what a pop, what a pop. Oh, just a little bit of a pop. Dan was telling me, because Dan, one of our editors here, uh, was uh, was um, down in London for it. Uh, and he said that he was just transported to being a child again when John Cena came out. It's really cool. Nobody wants to boo him anymore. Everybody respects everything he's done. It took a while, but we got there. It was very, very nice to see him. He also made a nice little reference to a viral video that that uh, did the rounds last week mm. with him in when somebody was well somebody filmed him at a restaurant saying so you can't see me he's like how about you just let me have some time yeah. with my friends trying to enjoy lunch with my friend yeah um he's always so calm and considered and wonderful uh i think the bloke's just a gem yeah i, I think he's legit he's he's really really awesome um and I like what he's done in WWE for the most part, obviously Super Cena aside and all that, mm -hmm. but actually he's he's a very special man, isn't he? As are you. Thank you, bless you. That was a report from Fightable Select, by the way, and incidentally, I had a nice chat with Sean Ross Sapp yesterday, uh, caught him before he went out for his last night in London. We did a whole podcast where we talked about anything other than wrestling. So we talked about his time in the UK, his love for pigeons, uh, his complaints about the traffic in London. If you want a little bit of a, a palate cleanser from all the wrestling news that Fightful throws at you, me and Sean talk about like shepherd's pie and vanilla coke for 15 minutes. Very nice. It's on the podcast feed if you want something <laughs> a bit different. It's on there for you. We've also got, just before you finish, we've got WTF for Money in the Bank coming up this evening and we've got interviews with a load of WWE superstars coming up on the channel over the next couple of days, Tuesday and Wednesday. So check those out in the evenings. Buzzing to see Ross Tweddle hanging out with LA mm -hmm. Knight. The Kavorka in that room must have been palpable, <laughs> tasteable. And of course, the latest wrestling news throughout the day you can check out at cultaholic.com. Stay safe. Love you, bye.